Good evening everyone, welcome back to Tom Plays Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord for Absolute Beginners. We are back in Britannia and we are <laughs> very unsuccessfully <sighs> trying to find a wife. Okay, so we're going to look for Ab... Oh no, she's still Remtoil Castle, isn't she? Oh, we can still carry on looking for her. Oh, we're we still at war with the Vlandians. I thought they'd have given up and made peace by now. Alright, we'll keep looking around. Um, if we happen to see that Prindor fella, I might actually see how much it would cost to obtain a wife the other way. Because we were looking at Beniseth, who is very skilled and generally quite nice. So, but we'll also keep an eye for our bile in case she escapes. But to be fair, Benicef's clan are down as clan rank 4, which is only one above ours, and poor. So maybe they won't be too bad. Problem is, I suppose, the clan leader may well be fighting. Sionag? It's been a while. We have. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? So yeah, it probably seems absolutely terrible that we're literally just going from lady to lady and moving on, but uh that is uh, the only way you succeed in the dating game, it would appear. <laughs> At least in this game. Right, what am I thinking? Um, I think we just met someone new, so let's just double check. Hang on, I'm using the wrong one. Twenty-five, moderately skilled but cruel. Leadership, writing, and steward. I mean, to be fair, those are both still pretty good. Devious and close-fisted. Scouting and trade. Florive, daring and cruel. 25. Honestly, I'm more worried about the 25 than I am about the cruel. She's 22. She's going to a steward at least. Which could be quite good for... Well, she's not going to be running a hold, to be honest, is she? Because she's going to be stuck with us. Still. Yeah, really not sure. Probably try and keep an eye out for that Prindor fella. Right, he's not here. At least that's Caladog's party, it's not an army. So that's no good. <laughs> this does sometimes happen as well that you end up uh, running around the map chasing after people. they're in no way limited to staying in Batanian lands. I mean, that's most often where you will find the Batanian nobility. 
but they will happily go and uh, visit in. Oh heck! Reese has been attacked. She has gained a bunch of skills. I don't know if that means she's won. I think she might have done. I think she has. Good for her. Okay, we have quite a few ladies here. Of course, there's, uh... It's been a while. Oh, I think she's one of the ones we were considering, actually. Peace to you, stranger. What is your name? Magritte. Well now, stranger. Peace to you. Okay, I think that's everyone. <clears throat> right, let's try this again then. And it's from Corrine and definitely leading the skills front. Well, she's pretty good. It's got leadership, which is good. Steward scouting. I think she's worth trying. Oh. Let's double check. Relation uh, free cultures battalion. Do need to be sure of that, although it's pretty predictable this early in the game. Everyone gets very mixed up for the next time we do this. Okay, let's give it a try. Once again. Is there anything worth selling that we've got? Nope. Doesn't look like it. has gained some medicine as well because she's healing her troops up so yeah she's done very well really fought off sea raiders which are not an easy bandit to fight and uh... ah excellent let's get our grain closer to 50 I was thinking I'll try and keep them all around 50 if I can Cheese seems to be worth more. On the whole, how are we doing for troops while I think about it? Right, so I wasn't going to get any more archers. So even though this is owned by Britannia, by uh, Vlandia, it should still be Britannia troops. Might regret that last troop if we manage to get married. And if Athene comes of age, which she surely must soon. My greetings to you. Okay. I think I'll stick with the nice stuff. I don't think it actually matters, it's only the percentages that matter. money on the cheese that's good not on the clay though distortion by deserters Yours why not? Is not a face I know what is your name stranger might at least give us a battle Hopefully it won't mean we're away too long and uh, make our potential bride angry. Okay, so again, probably going to hand leadership over to our 
individual companions, but I will place the troops at least. So they're hopefully somewhere a bit more sensible. Let's put you back a bit. Uh, not as fussed about the archers, to be honest. Have sergeants in charge. Feels like they'll be further back anyway, and I'm sure they'll move to an appropriate position. Oh, the enemy here. Oh yeah, there they are. too much about helping because <laughs> I mean look at the numbers relative power and uh, yeah pretty overwhelming for a bunch of deserters at this stage Skirmishes for every shock troop. For um, promotions of mounted troops, you sometimes need to have the appropriate horse is one reason why I will sometimes go out and buy horses. I tend to keep some around with us. Right, I'm going to just accept all the money because we're not yet in a position to start owning fiefs and our first one's likely to be Varchek anyway. Some prisoners, do some trade. like nothing we got there was amazing. Not to worry. Let's go to meet our doom. Oh. Okay, apparently we still haven't waited long enough. Let's try again. So this is usually the um, impossible one. And we've actually succeeded for once. <sighs> but then we fail at the last hurdle. So yeah, this can be quite demoralizing. So the alternative, as I've said, is to try and find this Prindor fella. Actually even that might not work because 
he may offer us the wrong person. Unless it's her I need to talk to to arrange it. Yours is not a face I know. Let's see. What is your name, stranger? Right. So we can't get... He will offer us Floraith, but he won't offer us Beniseth. Right, let's head to Sionan and try talking to Beniseth itself. So let's just check these as well. <laughs> you never know, he might have had a plus in charm. Uh, renowned game from battles and experience to troops, or no retreating and prisoner recruitment that's interesting you know I'm a little stuck with that one because the tier 3 plus troops no longer retreats will be good forever I suppose a plus 200 experience troops is also good forever, so let's go with that. At least it'll allow us to gain renown faster as well. Just once you reach clan rank 6, you're not getting any higher. It's been a while. I don't think this ever works. And that doesn't work either. Right, okay. So what about Corine? Have I met you? It's been a while. I have. Who is your clan leader? Oh, it's actually Caladog. Grief. Well, I can go and ask him. He had an army wandering around here um, a minute ago. I'm guessing he's fighting the Batanians. So, not the Batanians. He's the Batanians. He's fighting the Vlandians? Because I don't think they've made peace yet. Unless that's him. Yep, that's Caladog's army. I could go and try and help him, I guess. No. I'm not on anyone's side, of course. Uh, and it looks like he's going to lose. Well, that wasn't ideal. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Let's go do a mission. <sighs> this is not going well. In and out. Aye. Surely I've got so someone who can do then? these. Okay, who's our best option here? You have, of course. 4% risk of failure. So you take some of our more... experienced troops with you, Oathsworn? Yeah. Well, you never know. Not so keen on the prices. All right, one more. If we can't find Caladog. A bail is a bail is still a prisoner. Alidef is a prisoner. Everyone's a prisoner. Right, that's enough. No more.
And we've lost Velacek. Sturgeons have managed to take it back, so I don't think we now have anywhere we can... Oh, hang on. We haven't lost Velacek, I'm just um, looking at the wrong place. Right, well maybe before the Sturgeons do take it back, we should try and take it. Okay, Idrin has had another child, which is good. Same animation every time, of course. So, yes. But it does mean that our clan has a new member. So something to celebrate. So that will be Litka. Will be our new clan member. So that would brigands not so interested in that, I'm afraid. But we are completely out of fish. So I'd rather take all your fish, honestly. Let's have a look at Varcheg. I don't think we're even up to our full amount of people. And the militia is twice as many. And I also don't want to attack them. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Not going for it yet. So we either look for another group to attack, we keep doing missions, or we keep looking for a wife. But if nothing else, let's get up to our full number of troops. Can't do that. Oh, brilliant. You have succeeded. So at least that's something. Had a mission here before. It's gone now. On the plus side, with... Um... Oh, that was stupid. Of course, the reason we lost troops... Oh, never mind. Having too many troops will improve our uh, stewardship ability, probably. Even though we will end up losing them. Not to worry. Right, so I think I was thinking we could sell some of the fish. Keep the rest. Abba, wasn't she the one we were hoping to find? Fendergal, yeah, I think she was. Okay. It's been a while. So it's possible if we went for I wish to offer my hand in marriage that we would go for the expensive option with the person of our choosing. So that would possibly have been a good option. Eight is not honestly all that good. But it seems a shame not to at least try to be lucky enough to not have to do that. Hogs are 27. Let's just get 10 hogs. And I'll, uh, I'll get some more cheese as well, although I think the last time I got cheese hoping to make a profit, they may have actually just eaten it. <laughs> Still, I'm sure they enjoyed it. Maybe they've made peace with the Vlandians now. It looks like the Vlandians are fighting the Sturgeons, which I think they'd be less keen to do. It's been a while. Holy cow. Right, apparently a bile doesn't like that we're merciful. Oh, we've got a hundred here though. That's weird. Cause it looks like it's a plus there. Right, we'll just go for whatever has a hundred percent. And 
it looks like someone from the Azurai managed to get one of our former potential brides. Particularly keen to do betting fraud. Thank you very much. Okay, apparently it's a very long way around to that flax triglin to see if they've got some decent mission. They do not. particularly taken by the prices either so I'm just gonna head back don't want to risk making a bile angry all right I think we're back down to our maximum number of troops now so we shouldn't have any more desertions it's been a while good right successful number 76. Oh, this is 76 this time. Oh, heck! Okay! So I need to find Ergion, but this should be a lot cheaper now. So there you go! A bile! Well, she's generous and merciful, and she's good at steward. So that's something. Right, so I don't need to have met him before. I assume he's uh, alive. And he's undoubtedly married. Where is he? Going to Nell. Going out Nell. Looks like he might have been taken prisoner. Right, well let's just make sure he's not already here. Because it did say last seen. So let's say the Sturgeons. Okay. Well that probably hasn't made for the most fascinating couple of episodes, but I'm pleased with how it turned out at least. It looks like we are indeed going to get a wife. We should be easily be able to afford the cost. Once we eventually find this chap. I'm not optimistic about finding him anytime soon. We're probably just going to have to remember his name. Keep an eye out. There's Caladog, we finally found him. No, Still, I'm hoping this means that a bile will wait for us now. Grapes. Get ten grapes for that much. get some hogs didn't we however our grains getting low so let's oops let's get that back up a bit and what options have we got let's head down to Sargot let's just see if we can maybe sell one or two of these things probably not grapes to be fair I think the Volundians have a lot of grapes Maybe cheese there. Nope. 
we are not selling anything. Right, I think we should uh, try to run down some groups of bandits. While we wait for this fellow. Oh, hang on. No castle? Well, it still says he's been taken prisoner, though. So, yeah. I can still head up there, but I'm not particularly optimistic. Not keen. Really, just not keen. I've already got the hogs. I think I'm getting turned around a bit here. Drew more castle. Don't even seem to have many bandits around at the moment. Typical, isn't it? We finally um, do well with a potential wife, and now we can't find her dad. Or you know, whoever this guy is. <laughs> the clan leader. Last seen near Dunglanis. Right, he can't possibly still be a prisoner then if he's been seen near Dunglanis. Was I just not looking closely enough? I need to forget I need to have more foodstuffs as well. Maybe go for a hundred rather than fifty. Right, where are you? Ergion. Okay, right, so you were near here, but you're not actually here. So are you one of these parties? Is that what's going on? You have to get close enough to see the names as a rule. Signs party, Ladigwell's party. Who's this? There's villagers. I don't know if there's this guy hiding himself. Oh, there he is. Found ya. I don't think I know you. Peace to you, stranger. Uh, final terms of my marriage with a bile. So he's basically going to want money or some equivalent. But you see, you know, it would have been in the tens of thousands normally. So there we go. After two whole episodes of uh, <laughs> probably not the most interesting gameplay, we finally got married. So this is good because um, Cadogan and Avail will start producing Batanian children. You could theoretically look after Batanian cities and fiefs, while Nyerson and Idrun will be producing Sturgeon children. So our our clan is effectively, as of now, a twofold clan. It's a two culture clan, I suppose. With both Sturgeons and 
the Tannians. So she's at Dunglanis. So let's go and pick her up. Could ask her to join us, but you know, I feel like I should be polite. With her being my wife. Especially because she's going to be doomed to a life in the saddle, sadly. With a civil war going on, we're likely to be fighting for the rest of our lives. So while I can afford to have Nice and Anidran settle down somewhere. Our main character is going to have to fight forever, pretty much. Until he eventually dies and his heir takes over. Didn't need to come here to find her, incidentally, so that's from no one. That's King Caladog, King of the Battalions. Incidentally, there's absolutely no need to come into the Lord's Hall like this to um, pick her up. I just feel like getting married is significant. So I kind of want to. Might change my mind if I can't find her. <laughs> Good grief. I think these are all our companions. Oh no, no, they're also all the, uh, all the people here. Right, here's a bile. It's been a while. It has. It's not going to um, be a while again, though. Excellent. So let's head back out. So we're going to check Avile's skills. Because, of course, now we can see them properly. Here she is. Right, so... Yeah, as we kind of expected, she's not very skilled, so we've probably got the option, honestly, of... anything we want, so I might actually ask her to do the mounted archery. She's good at riding, at least. So yeah, mounted archery it is. So I'm going to go into the trade screen. Is on set up right she's already actually got a bow which she doesn't have a skill to use i don't know if that's going to be a problem or not i suppose we'll see if her bow skills improve and she looks like she's very well equipped but for some reason she doesn't have a horse so we are going to need a saddle we'll give her the best horse we've got which is an amazing but she needs a saddle in order to use it. And as soon as we can pick a fight with someone, I'm going to put her in charge of... our mounted archers. See, I'm always a bit torn as to whether... I think that's everyone we need now, isn't it? Yep. Some people have gained skills as we've been riding around, <laughs> chasing women. Might, uh, Head over into Vlandian land, if I can find them. Yep, I am indeed going entirely the wrong way. Maybe we should go to Sturgeon lands instead, we can stock up on fish again. Okay, and uh, a bile is already pregnant, which is great news. That, on the other hand, is not great news. Uh, fish are a bit expensive, but let's just get ourselves up to 50 again anyway. I could sell the clay, though. 
could really do is some meat. Alright, so we've possibly waited too long for Varchek. And they're being besieged. Which is really bad news for us, but can't be helped. Let's go attack these uh, looters. Mess with us and we'll sell our lives dearly. Yeah, I'm once again thinking now maybe I should have just risked attacking them. Not to worry, with all the with all the battalion lands that have been taken. Hopefully. There we go. Hopefully we will have a rebellion soon enough. And to be fair, that land itself was not being taken by the Sturgeons. So Varchegger may well rebel in any case. Right, well this is interesting. Infantry! I kind of feel like we could uh, absolutely mince these guys. If I just put the skirmishes either side. Infantry! Forward! Instead of trying to have them come from the edge, I'll do the usual with these guys. Put them behind the shield wall. Infantry! And just thinking. Boom. Have the archers up here. Quite as smoothly as I had hoped. Let's put the archers on top. At least I thought they were the archers. Apparently they're actually not. Okay, forget it. Everyone charge! Everyone charge. So much for tactics. Not to worry. We're still almost three to one in our favour. And the important thing is we now have everyone in their correct positions in leadership. Which is good. That's not so bad then. So yeah, I probably want to, in fact, while well, I think about it, maybe we should actually get some grain and uh, do the old war profiteering thing again. If we can't actually take advantage of a rebelling city. 
can at least take advantage of the aftermath. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not planning to intervene in any way. We're, um, we're just going to watch it. Varcheg will pretty much undoubtedly fall and become uh, Imperial, but I'm hoping they won't be able to keep it and it will end up rebelling again. But we'll see. So hopefully things will be a bit more interesting from now on. We uh, shouldn't need to do the whole looking for a wife thing again. But it is worth doing, I think, at clan rank 3. Certainly when you're playing it, because uh, normally you would be playing long enough to have these kids grow up and you're going to want to have an heir. So... You can, I think, set your heir. You don't have to... Um, so we could have gone with Kalata or something like that. But in any case, the more people we can have in our clan, the better. And um, we're probably not going to want a fiend to be doing that because we want to keep her. But yeah, we'll probably cover that next episode because I kind of feel like she must really be on the verge of joining our team any second. So yeah, I'm hoping um, even with the unfortunate loss of Varchek, we will have at least a few more battles next time. Might even do some tournaments to get people some equipment. And we'll keep an eye out for the next rebelling city if it's Sturgeon or Batanian. I think we'll have to attempt it even if it doesn't look likely. Of course, if we're incredibly lucky and somehow they manage to overcome Afi's army, we will then go straight in for Varjeg and siege them instead. But I think it's pretty likely that that isn't happening. In fact, it might be worth just attacking Gorgi's party because I don't think they're going to do anything useful. And that will at least make us an enemy of the rebels. But we'll leave that for next time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you then.